Hello everyone, thanks for today's second video. So we're going to have a look at GFS Sobbles for uh, tonight's second uh, video update. You can go through all 21 members and see what they're showing from Christmas through to the new year. It takes us pretty much to the 2nd of uh, January. So I did a video this afternoon looking at the next week to 10 days. Also a lot of other stuff crammed into that such as... Uh, seeing what's happening with the stratosphere, what's happening with the Arctic Constellation, the North Atlantic Constellation, and so on. So uh, have a look at that. It's here on the homepage. Just scroll down the page a little bit, and you'll find it above the uh, snow desk. I promise you that I'll bring you the Ensemble Swatch this evening, so that's what we're going to do for today's second video. Just say the Chris Shop is still open, so if you've got any Chris Shop to do at Amazon between now and sort of the next two or three days, really, um, then uh, you can do it through the Chris Shop. Just click the green button, it says Gaz Chris Shop. It takes you to our Chris Shop page, and from there, you can go through the Amazon banners. You arrive at Amazon and do your Chris Shop. Because you've gone from Gaz over to Amazon, we get a rubby fee on the things that you are buying. A big thank you to everybody for doing that. I'll keep playing away at this for another couple of days, and then I think by about Wednesday it'll be time to uh, give up on it, because we'll be pretty much then, I would have thought, run out of time. Could be Christmas Eve one week today, getting ever closer, of course. But a big thank you to everybody for doing their uh, Chris shopping through uh, Gas Chris Shop again uh, this year. So I'll just bring you up to date with the um, GFS operational run first of all. We start on Christmas Day here. Uh, looks like I've got the pattern pretty much nailed down, I think, now for Christmas. So I explain this in today's uh, first video. Christmas Eve brings a band of rain southwards, uh, probably quite weak when it gets into the south and southeast, but it introduces uh, a cooler, fresher air mass. So Christmas Day is quite a nice day, actually, showing it to be quite a decent day under a little bit of a transient ridge and a fairly cool air mass as well. Should be plenty of sunshine. Temperature's probably about average, maybe a little bit um, cooler than average, and possibly a little bit on the cold side as well, uh, night and morning. Really quite a pleasant Christmas Day. But then Boxing Day... Uh, begins to bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So we may start to get wind going on Boxing Day, possibly bring some uh, gales into far north and west, and possibly some outbreaks of rain as well. And then that sets up for a much more unsettled spell as we run up towards the new year, sort of post-Christmas to New Year. We start to bring areas of low pressure, bands of wet weather in from off the Atlantic. This is how... Uh, the latest operational run of GFS midday run is looking for uh, 29th of December, for example. Very wet and windy, stormy, actually, especially so for the north with severe gale force winds, bouts of heavy rain uh, across the country as well. And we keep that unsettled weather going up towards the new year as well. So you get the idea of what the GFS operational run uh, was showing. Uh, very unsettled weather setting up uh, between Christmas and uh, New Year and going into the start of um, 2018 as well. So I'm going to bring you up to date with the um, GFS ensembles then. We're going to have a look at all 21 members of the GFS ensembles, starting with the uh, control run of the uh, GFS. So again, we begin on Christmas Day. All these charts are going to begin on Christmas Day, and we're going to end, I think, on uh, the 2nd of January. So that's how Christmas Day looks on the control run, which is a slightly lower resolution uh, uh, run compared to the operation run, which is the main GFS run that we uh, use. It's run at a slightly lower resolution. One time it probably was the operational run of the GFS, and then it has an upgrade. It goes up to an even higher resolution, if you see what I mean. So um, this is a slightly uh, lower resolution compared to the operational run, but a higher resolution compared to all other ensemble members. So Christmas Day looks, again, same sort of idea, a little bit of a transient ridge across the country. It could be quite a nice Christmas Day if this comes off. Plenty of sunshine a little bit of a chilly feel, and uh, quite a bit of dry weather. Maybe a wintry shower for the far north and northwest. But that's Boxing Day. It looks quite stormy, and that takes into the 27th as well. And then this continues, look at this, into the uh, period running up to New Year. This is 29th of December. Real storm uh, there. Real, real battering, especially for the north. That's storm force winds, I would have thought. More low pressure rolling in there, giving uh, severe gales this time to the south on the 30th of December, uh, and then we go up to New Year's, this is the uh, start of um, the New Year, this is uh, 1st of January, and also looking very unsettled. We finish up like that on the 2nd of January, wet and windy again, and quite cool as well. The air is coming out of Greenland, so possibly even cold enough for some wintry weather over northern high ground. Otherwise, it's just a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and uh, temperatures um, probably on the chilly side. 
But it's ensemble member number one, and uh, we find it on Christmas Day. Again, we have a little bit of a transient ridge building across the uh, country, so fairly decent on Christmas Day. Boxing Day brings wet and windy weather into the uh, west. Very mild conditions as well, both southwesterly winds. We uh, run up towards the new year. It stays unsettled, really uh, a real battering going on there. Severe gales, particularly so uh, for the north at times, or ensemble member, ensemble member number one is very unsettled between Christmas and New Year. This ensemble member number two, and uh, this one, again, fairly decent day for Christmas Day. Then we have that southwesterly wind. Perhaps not quite as stormy on Boxing Day or on the 27th, but uh, still quite unsettled, really. Heights remain relatively high uh, to the south, you'll notice, with this ensemble member. So it's not quite as unsettled. We don't get the battering, uh, but we do on those other... Uh, sort of runs that we've looked at ensemble member number two a lot of high pressure influences there going up towards the new year and potentially very mild conditions as well with the air coming up from the southwest this is ensemble member number three and uh, this one's doing something a bit different for christmas day it looks quite unsettled actually there's rain coming in from the west and then we go up to boxy day and beyond that very unsettled conditions too uh, low pressure Heading in from off the Atlantic. So this is another really unsettled ensemble member. Just signs of a change there around the new year. You'll notice the low pressure is beginning to run out of steam a bit. Heights are trying to rise over Scandinavia. So that one ends a little bit colder by the new year. But otherwise, it's very stormy. Uh, today's first video did... Uh, sort of hint at the possibility, or there were hints at the, at the possibility, something a bit colder perhaps by the start of uh, next year. So that's something else we're looking for within this ensemble's watch, see whether there is any sign of that. Uh, ensemble number three did do that. This ensemble number, ensemble member number four, uh, looking quite cool and showery for Christmas Day. That looks very stormy for Boxing Day. This one's different as well and then it just turns really unsettled and stormy as we head up towards the new year and go into the new year we begin to build high pressure up from the south so again that's really quite stormy between christmas and new year and then going to start of uh start of next year and we're starting to build up high pressure from the south this is a very mild situation um, although I suppose there could be frost and fog, but overall heights are rising from the south, the wind is from the southwest. This is ensemble member number five. This one looks quite stormy for uh, Christmas Day. So you'll see within these ensemble members, actually the timings of these areas of low pressure are not yet pinged down. And uh, it is possible that our nice Christmas Day might be taken away from us and we might, might actually have quite a wet a windy day just depends on the timing of these areas of low pressure. However, the same sort of idea really uh, around Christmas and Boxing Day looks very unsettled, low pressure out to the west. And then heading up to the new year, we're starting to see signs of a change. High pressure is building and it's building over Scandinavia quite interestingly. So this is doing something a little bit cold. This is starting to get the wind into the east. We're not talking about a big freeze there, but high pressure is actually sort of quite a way south. So it's not centering itself over northern sort of Scandinavia. It's centering itself, uh, let's say, on the Russian border, for example. Uh, but nevertheless, it is a lot colder, that actually. That's the coldest ensemble member that we've had so far by New Year. We're certainly bringing in a continental feed, even if we're not bringing in uh, a deep Siberian easterly wind. Uh, this is ensemble member number six, and uh, this one has a fairly nice Christmas day. Uh, and then we go through to uh, beyond Christmas, and it turns stormy. So, again, another ensemble member doing that, bringing very severe gales across the country between Christmas and uh, New Year. Proper battering going on there. And then into the start of next year, we take that low pressure to our east. You'll notice we're beginning to get a bit of a cut in the Atlantic between this next area of low pressure. Uh, and so the winds are turning into the north. So that's probably a bit of a cold snap coming down there on the 2nd of January. I think its days would be numbered because it's a really deep low pressure in the Atlantic. It's probably just steamroller free. That uh, does turn things a little bit colder into the start of uh, next year. This is also member number seven. And uh, this one looks really quite nasty for uh, Christmas Day. That will bring gale force winds to the north. And I think there's heavy rain coming through there as well. So the timings of these low pressures around Christmas are still a little bit up in the air, if you pardon the 
them. We go through to uh, the pre uh, post Christmas period, I should say, keeping it unsettled. Deep areas of low pressure coming through. Severe gales uh, look likely there to be heading in across the country. That's how we finish up on the 2nd of January. Wet and windy, but also quite mild. Ensemble member number eight looks like that on uh, Christmas Day. And uh, if we run through, you'll see that it turns very unsettled through this uh, Christmas to New Year period. That's how we finish up on the 2nd of January. Again, looking quite mild. The air's coming up from the south. Where's of dry weather to the south, but wet and windy up in the north. This is ensemble member number nine. Let's see if we can get this one up. So uh, this one, uh, quite unsettled for Christmas Day. On this one, and then stormy, sort of Boxing Day to the 27th, uh, and keeping it stormy, then going up to New Year, that's the 30th of December, proper uh, winter storm going on there. We finish up uh, on the 2nd of January, still with this very stormy spell continuing. So most of these ensemble members do want to keep this stormy weather going into the start of um, next year. This is on top of member number 10. We're halfway through and it is uh, wet and windy for the north. A little bit more influence from high pressure to the south, possibly keeping things a little bit drier there. And overall, it's a very mild final week of the year as well with ensemble member number 10. Not much happening from a cold perspective, I have to say, from these ensemble members uh, tonight. This is ensemble member number 11. This one also looking very stormy around and just after Christmas as well. And then we head up towards um, a little bit beyond the new year and we find high pressure building up from the south. So that's a little bit of a trend around the new year into the start first days of January, perhaps high pressure beginning to push up from the south. But I have to emphasise, that would bring very mild conditions, almost spring-like conditions, because the air is coming up from a long way south with that area of high pressure. So if you want cold weather, you want to see high pressure either pushing down from the north, or you want to see that high pressure pushing northwards and getting itself up towards Scandinavia or the Arctic. In that position over France and Germany, that's going to bring up almost spring-like uh, weather there. Uh, this is ensemble member number 12. This one also looking uh, quite wet and windy through the Christmas period. And then after that, heading up towards New Year, very stormy. 30th of December, keep that in your diary. A lot of these ensemble members are predicting a real storm uh, on the 27th of December, potentially, and then again on the 30th of December. So uh, just see whether that verifies as we get to it. Very stormy conditions uh, there, and we keep it very unsettled going through to January the 2nd as well. Ensemble member number uh, 13 shows a uh, very decent Christmas day uh, with that one. But look at this, very, very stormy weather then, battering the country after Christmas and heading into the new year. These are very, very unsettled uh, extended GFS ensemble members tonight, I have to say. This is uh, ensemble member number 14. Um, so this one also looks very unsettled as well. Perhaps not quite as much as some of the other ones. A little bit more influence from high pressure to the south. So it's not as stormy, but uh, there is quite a bit of uh, rain in the north. Fairly dry conditions, I suppose, down in the south. Ensemble member number 15 shows high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north and west on uh, Christmas Day. And uh, then we go up towards the new year and we keep everything very flat, very westerly, high pressures down to the southwest, low pressures up to the north, and we bring in those winds in from off the Atlantic. This is grim stuff if you want cold weather. This is ensemble member number 16 and this one uh, gives us a very nice uh, Christmas day there I think. And then we go through to Boxing Day and 27th. It's turning stormy. Again there's that storm showing up around the 30th of December. The position is changed a little bit. It's a little bit further north but it's still bringing severe gales or storm force winds especially to Scotland on the 30th of uh, December. And then we're heading towards the new year and we keep things very flat. The westerlies continue, so it remains unsettled to the 2nd of January. Uh, number 17 has a fairly nice Christmas day under that little ridge. Uh, then we go through 
beyond uh, Christmas. And uh, well, we tried to put a bit of high pressure up over Scandinavia, but uh, really the days of that and number, because we've got such a strong Atlantic, will just blast that away very quickly. Overall, this is wet and windy between Christmas and New Year and going into the start of 2018. Ensemble member number 18 uh, looks like that. Uh, this is doing something a bit different. This is building up high pressure. Uh, from the south, and uh, that's dominating the weather, sort of Christmas Day to Boxing Day, and then to the 27th. That's give a lot of dry weather, so uh, that's a bit different. But then eventually we finish up by New Year, back in this very unsettled flat pattern, and uh, that's turning increasingly unsettled and stormy by the time we get through to the New Year. And then number uh, 19 penultimately looks like this. High pressure to our south gives us a reasonable boxing day. And again, actually that's 18. So this is um, number 19. And uh, what this one is doing, it gives us very cold and showery uh, Christmas day. And oh, this one's doing something quite different. This is taking low pressure down to our east. Uh, around Boxing Day to the 27th, turning the winds in to the north. So that's a colder situation there, sort of Boxing Day to 27th of December. That's pulling in some northerly winds, albeit temporarily. There will be frost, probably wintry showers coming in uh, with that. But it doesn't last long. Very quickly, the Atlantic is steamrollering through. So um, very unsettled and stormy. However, by the 2nd of January, we're building a bit of high pressure out to our west, trying to turn the wind back into the north. That one is a little bit colder, ensemble member number 19. And then finally, we're at ensemble member number 20, looking, uh, well, for the north, perhaps a little bit stormy on Christmas Day. Uh, and then we go through to uh, sort of Boxing Day, and then 27th, 28th, turning increasingly unsettled, and uh, that unsettled weather continues into the new year. As well, maybe a little bit more influence to the south and the east for high pressure, uh, but to the north and west it is very unsettled. And also, this is a very mild one to finish up with. Ensemble member number twenty. That's a grim old lot. If you want cold weather, it doesn't get much worse than that. Really, one or two ensemble members are doing something a little bit colder there at times, but overall. Very ominous. Um, it looks uh, quite stormy here. Uh, maybe some severe gale force winds after Christmas. Perhaps storm force winds. And uh, generally on the mild side, well, of course, at times we may bring some cooler air down from Greenland on the back side of these areas of low pressure. But essentially it's Atlantic driven. It's quite stormy. And most of the ensemble members are uh, really quite mild as well. So that's about as bad as it gets if you want uh, cold weather. Sorry about that. Um, that's just how things are shaping up uh, this year for the final sort of uh, week or so of 2017. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.